Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So I think we can all agree there's some crimes you just don't do, and one of those crimes are stealing from a person who's just been declared dead. So, a hospital worker at Birmingham's Heartlands Hospital was arrested for stealing an 83-year-old's bank card where she worked on a COVID ward on January the 24th of this year. 23-year-old Aisha Basharat was a healthcare assistant on a COVID ward at the Birmingham Hospital at the time and she decided she would help herself to a patient's bank card in order to get herself some well-deserved treats from a hospital vending machine. She stole the card just 17 minutes after the 83-year-old patient had sadly passed away at 1.57pm. Again, healthcare assistant Aisha Basharat took just 17 minutes to decide she was entitled to treat herself to snacks by using a dead person's card. Now let me just ask you this question, what kind of person would do that? Now if you're a career thief, then that's okay, at least people know what type of person they are dealing with. However, being part of the NHS establishment, being a healthcare assistant on a COVID ward means something to people. You were essentially a hero. People were standing on the doorsteps once a week, banging wooden spoons against their metal pots and pans or clapping for people like Aisha Basharat. So when you decide to steal, as a healthcare professional, it has to feel like a slap in the face. So Basharat was caught on CCTV making six purchases at the vending machine before continuing on with her work. She was then caught again later on the evening the same day making another £1 purchase through contactless payment. And then she tried to make two more purchases when she was next in work four days later on January 28th. Unfortunately for the healthcare worker, the card had already been declined due to loved ones noticing that the patient's card was missing, so they terminated the card. Now because Aisha Basharat could not foresee what happens when you breach a position of trust, she was actually arrested during her shift and the police actually found the deceased patient's card in her possession. Not only was the healthcare assistant a thief, she was also a liar. Instead of admitting what she did and asking for forgiveness, Basharat attempted her hand at damage control and told the police during her interview she had found the card on the floor and had modded it up with her own card. The only issue was her card and the patient's card belonged to two different banks and there were different brands, and the cards were two separate colours. Now even if miraculously Aisha Basharat was telling the truth, and had accidentally used someone else's card, again by accident, she still broke hospital protocol surrounding patients' property. As it turns out, while the family of the deceased was grieving over their loss, Basharat was stuffing her face with Twixes, Mars bars and Snickers and Turkish delights. During the court proceedings, 23-year-old Aisha Basharat went on to admit fraud and theft by false representation at Birmingham Crown Court on Wednesday, June 9th. Somehow, the healthcare assistant and thief avoided a jail sentence and was instead given a five-month suspended sentence. Again, it's got to feel like a slap in the face or a kick in the teeth or a punch in the gut that the person whom was helping to take care of a loved one was rubbing their hands together, thinking... I'm about to get some snacks with your bank card when you die. All I can say is stay safe, safe.